right, we're going to get into the Giro. How the Giro was won. 2020. Tao Gagan Hart won it over Wilco Kelderman and Jai uh, Hindley. This is, we're just talking quickly about the effects of a sugar rich diet and brain serotonin, hyperphagia, and anxiety on uh, animals, both genders. So, this is very important in the Grand Tours that you want to have enough uh, carbohydrate sucrose. Uh, for that mental control uh, and reducing anxiety because when you're in the pink jersey and you've got a lot of media pressure on you're going to have a lot of anxiety you're going to have a lot of anxiety so make sure your serotonin is nice and high so this is the this is the Cervelo versus the Pinarello all these three frames made in China and we have the disc brake and two rim brake so we saw that John Hindley in my opinion would have won the Giro had he had the lightweight wheels the wheels here that Team Sky are running uh, 935 grams. Look at that, Rowan Dennis. Uncle Rowan on the front. Uncle Rowan, you know, the Flatlander time trialer turned mountain goat, shredded the peloton out the back. Did an incredible job there on the 935 gram wheels. Now, there's a bit, a bit of a debate going on. Should we ban lightweight wheels? I mean, I should think we should ban disc brakes personally, but, you know, right now there's a big discrepancy. Uh, if you look at the wheels that Jai Hindley's running, Correct me if I'm wrong, he's running the Shimano C40 tubular disc brake, which is about 1,322 grams. Now you add 250 grams of rotors and lock rings on there, now you've got a, an almost 1,600 gram wheel set. That's almost, or maybe even over 600 gram heavier wheel set. So if you stop right now, hypothetically, if you stop right now, stop this race, and you took the wheels off the bikes, you took the tires off, you know, and you just left the, the wheels, and obviously you're gonna have a rotor on there because part of the part of the wheel, the rotor there, so almost 600 grams extra rotation weight. So Jai Hindley did an incredible job. You know, to, to I think he got second in the end there. Did he get second or third overall in the end? I mean, he, he did an incredible job on such a heavy bike, heavy wheels. You know, the the if you rode those Pinarellos, like I've, I've got a pair of lightweight wheels, so I've got disc brake wheels, and it's night and day difference. All right, especially the the, the fatigue. The fatigue metabolites after three weeks of racing is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So the fact that Jai did such a good job on these heavy-ass wheels, 600, so we're, talking, we're talking about 1,600 grams there, almost 600 grams difference. And now, now a lot of noobs out there say that rotating weight doesn't make a difference. <laughs> That's like adding 300 grams extra to your feet each shoe. Like riding in 600 gram shoes versus 300 gram shoes. Like, there is a difference. There is a difference. Now, your watts won't be any different, but you have to put out more watts. You know, your watts per kilo will get diluted. So, it's a handicap. It is a handicap. All right. And then when you look at these guys, these are so close, ma closely matched. But Jai's on wheels are 600 grams heavier. And Tau Gagan Hart, THG. Let's call him THG. He's, uh, he's on 935 grams. These Millenstein clinches are 930, yeah, so tubulars, 935 grams. And the Shimano tubulars are close to 1,600 grams. Because you obviously you've got to, you got to, you know, you're running with disc brakes, so you're gonna, that's, that's where disc brakes add the weight, the rotors and the wheels. You need more spokes, so your wheels less aero. Uh, you've got slower wheel changes, and you've got a risk of braking spokes as well because you've got to try and make the wheel so light to try and counter-affect the actual dead weight. I mean, Jai Hindley doesn't need disc brakes. The guy's got exceptional skills. You're not in the Giro. You're not, you're not a World Tour rider if you don't have enough good enough skills. Like, you're just not. Um, so there's this marketing there. Jai must have signed so a contract with Cervelo saying, yeah, I'll ride, commit to disc. And Welko Kilderman says, no thanks, I'm staying with the rim. And look at, look at the differences here. You can just see that Jai is on the limit in the saddle, and just you know, really just trying to hang on there and TGH out the saddle for that marginal gain extra. But just uh, the wheel differences. I mean, I've ridden, I own both of these wheel sets. Uh, sorry, I own the lightweights. I've ridden the Shimano's. And yeah, it's, uh, I've got the Zip Toe 2 disc. It's just, I mean, it's great for gravel. It's great for gravel. But yeah, at, at this level where you're on the absolute limit, I mean, look at the fatigue on the faces. Look at the, look at the eyes, you know what I mean? These guys are young guys, they're only like 20 something. They're young, they're babies, you know? They're baby boys. But you can see the stress in their eyes, like, this is hard on the body, you know? This is a hard effort. So to have that disc break with penalty, you know, you've got Wilco Kelderman here. Um, you know, his, his face seemed to hold, yeah, it seemed to, his face seemed to puff out in the last week. I'm not sure what was going on there, but his face seemed to puff out a bit, like he was gaining weight. You know, some some riders do gain weight at the end, end of the Grand Tour, so it looked like Wilco Wilk Coburn was gaining a bit of weight 
in the last week there, so that maybe that took his took his edge off. He did a great ride though. He was up there. I mean, all these guys are up there, especially Jai and the, the Sunweb crew. You know, like Wilco and uh, Jai were up there. Rowan Dennis, look at look how fresh Uncle Rowan looks like. You know, Uncle Rowan looks fresh. He's giving a bit of a clap there. He's got his jersey uh, a bit unzipped, and you saw all the other guys who all had their jerseys unzipped, except for Jai Hindley. He had it zipped up all the way. That's how fresh he was feeling. So. But at the same time, you know, you see his eyes indicated a high level of stress. But he did a fantastic, I mean, that's a breakthrough ride. Breakthrough ride. You know, no one would have put money on on the second one. Well, I'm not sure, second or third in the end? No one would put money on that, but they will in the future. This is an interesting photo. Look at the body language here. You've got TGH. He's got his hand under his armpit. He's like basically saying, I'm, you know, this is interesting body language here. This is like, uh, this is interesting body language. It's, it's like Trump. Versus Biden, <laughs> we'll create a little bit of banter there. And he's got his hand on his on his chest above his heart, and he's got his other hand like hooked up. You know, it's almost a bit of a martial arts, a bit of a security guard move. There's a bit of banter here, isn't there? There's a, that's a bit of banter, that's a bit of a banter move there. Giant was in pink on the second last day. This is that's really very really interesting writing. Now, on the exact same time, all right, the exact same time. That's crazy. So for Giant. To go that well on such heavy wheels, it goes to show that he has just a, had an incredible ride, a phenomenal ride, you know, and he was in the pink. Pink jersey, it's pretty colours. I like that pink, it looks good. And he's, he's happy there, um, as you would be. And this is Uncle Rowan. Is that Nabali? Or is that Meds Pedersen? Who is that? In the, this nice high vis. So if you look at that difference, differentiation there, safety wise, that's. Uh, you know, those Trek Segafredo jerseys, they look they look good, man. That visibility. When they come here for turn it under, you can see them from miles away. And now Team Sky, aka Ineos, aka Grenadiers, they generally run the, the neon orange for training, which is good. It's just rider safety. I think, you know, Team Sky did start that black trend back in the day. And look at this is Walker Kettleman here. So you can see to see look at look at his face. I mean, these guys aren't fat by any means, not even close, but you can see there is some fluid retention going on there. And I would say he's probably, you know, looks like he's two or three kilos over his ideal. And you go on the right. I mean, who's the guy on the right? Look how skinny his arms are. Look, look at his his shoulder, his deltoid, his lateral deltoid is literally the same diameter, circumference as his wrist. You know what I mean? That's, that's lean. That's lean. This is TGH here. You can see his, his belly is full of food. His diaphragm's popping in and out. That's where you're breathing. you breathing in and out. And you can sort of see here, he's he's aged, you know. These guys are babies, but you can see that maturity there, the pressure the, the on his shoulders there, it ages you. Not in a bad way, like, it, you know, just, it turns you more masculine. So he's got that vibe going on there. He's left the schoolboy vibe, and he's become more of a man in that photo there. You can see Nabali here, just thinking, what the what the, who are these kids, man? Who let these kids out of school? What's going on? Like, where's the school bus? Come and collect and take them back to where they came from. Nabali on the heaviest Trek and Monda ever. This is literally the heaviest Trek and Monda ever. The heaviest Trek and Monda ever in the world tour. It's pretty crazy. We're 2020. The Monda first debuted in 2013. And this is the heaviest ever in Monda. Because of them pizza cutters. Anyway, that's how the Juro was won and lost. Incredible ride by everyone. Um, incredible. Unlucky for Garen Thomas to, to crack. Oh, man. This is... What a drama. What incredible drama uh, for this year's race. Incredible drama. Team Sky, limb breaks for the win. Wrapped it up again. Just as I said. I said, I predicted I said Team Sky are going to win it. And I did pick Garen Thomas. I didn't think TGH was going to win. Nobody thought TGH was going to win. And nobody thought Joe Hudney would be out there for the win. This is incredible drama. Incredible spectator. Fantastic entertainment provided by the athletes in this year's Jura. Next on to the Velta Spania, we have Primoz Roglic in the rim breaks. Anyway, that's another video. That's how the Giro was won and lost. Marginal gains. Rim breaks won, disc breaks lost it. 100%.